Hey everyone, Zef here. Welcome to Programmer VR Overview. Every release now since the Quest 3 launch, I feel like it has to have an additional MR features on top of what it was already developing, specifically set by Meta because that's what they want to push from that headset. But then the game still calls itself VR, which <laughs> it's not necessarily that only. I know that it's to distinguish itself from the like flat screen stuff though at this point it doesn't really make sense <laughs> like you should maybe call itself something something quest <laughs> So Programmer VR is a problem-solving education game where you help a robotic creature called Bob to navigate the world, giving him various instructions and parameters of what to do and overcome lots of challenges that await you in the programming universe. Concept-wise, this is like pretty dope because in my college days I was kind of learning the development and coding in general, but it was just boring as hell. And it's not like this app will necessarily learn you to being a future code master like this one is more to further your skills in logical thinking and overcoming tasks with whatever solution you will think of it is using like base concepts of programming though nothing really complicated and without even including a single line of code text at least from what i've tried its audience is mostly like newbies or people who are interested and want to get into this world but but in a fun and gaming way. It has a lot of modes that are related to the core gameplay loop and a pretty substantial campaign mode that starts relatively easy. But like already from entering the store, this has huge potential if it's with updates or future content because the base version is already pretty cool. <laughs> Personally, I would like to have some kind of locomotion or free roam mode, whether it would be in the menu or on stages. But like there's really not much to complain, like everything works as intended and it's just a fun way of learning how to program per se which is always a win in that field <laughs> let's go program something um okay we are in like a futuristic apartment with a very shitty 360 outside <laughs> i don't think it can be worse than that I need to improve his intelligence for him to survive. Okay. <laughs> Bob must reach the intelligence diamond to earn intelligent points. Cold playground. Can I like tilt it to me? It's like a very simplified coding, really. <laughs> I don't think I will like learn anything complicated, but it could be a good start. Can I move to him? Well, yeah, but it's four, I suppose. Uh huh. I mean, I like that there's some score system for you to have a motivation of playing and learning, but I need to see him somehow. <laughs> uh -oh, what's the difference here? Jesus, it's like. <laughs> I'm here by myself alone. So we have challenges, multiplayers, shop for what? Uh huh. I mean, I would like to have like a locomotion of some sort. 
But let's do more campaign, I guess. Okay, so we have more instructions now. Ah, there's gonna be different parameters. I wonder if I can, like, cheat the system and, for example, move one and then jump twice. Should work, right? It's like one... Yeah, I mean, it's not like there's gonna be only one way to solve the issue here. So it's also based on your creativity and what you think is right. <laughs> but I mean, that's cute. I wonder if there's like higher score for less actions or that sort of stuff. <laughs> Why not? And we are earning levels, points on leaderboards. I mean, timer is important. Though I don't like anything time-based, so... I mean, I wish I would go to the side, like, can I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is way better. Again. <laughs> cool, but what I'm learning here... Because there is no code, I mean, there is a code inside those actions, but... That would be like... For kids, pretty much. <laughs> what about turning in place and then... Go? <laughs> I mean, why not? But it's cool that you can create what you want. I'm not trying MR mode. <laughs> The issue is that the view, I think, resets every single time you load into the new area. There has to be like a lot of levels to make up for more options. I mean, I went to school for programming, kind of. <laughs> Wait, there's intelligence level, but clever as well. Of what? Completing the level smartly? <laughs> Yeah, I wish it would not, like, reset the view. I'll try to accomplish the goals with as few moves as possible. I guess that's my, like, secret goal. <laughs> the analyzation of it all.
I should be able to change the perspective of my controls as well. Look at him go. Okay, but what can we do it in the main menu? There's gonna be... 25 levels here. 75, that seems a lot. I kinda wish there would be more stuff happening here in the main menu. Maybe like, to move around. I mean, it's a programming application after all, so... There should be some... Nifty features. We can do some PvP, cop, like... It's a nicely gamified education of some sort system, but I wouldn't say it's something that you can learn straight up the commands and stuff. This is more like a solving issue thing where you are presented with a problem and you need to solve it however you want unless you have a specific number of set actions and stuff like that. It is helpful to create some sort of a habit of approaching tasks with an open-ended solution, but nothing really complicated really for people who are already in this field. So I'm pretty sure this is more guided towards the kids and people who want to kind of like dip in that world, but just stay in a more gamified perspective. Other than that, there's not much else happening really. The graphics are, I suppose, okay. It's not necessarily a focus because you just go into the stages and just concentrate on Bob and him walking around. I think it's a cute entry of some sort of education, but still keeping it playful and for everyone that wants to go into it.